Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Draft Champions video. My team over there on the right, Torrey Holt, Vontae Davis, Brian Bulaga, the three stars on the team, I guess. I, I don't know why they choose those three. I guess it's the top three overall players. I don't know, but I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, those three are not the superstars of this game. If you saw the title of the video, you're probably going to have a rough idea of what happened. Now, normally, I'm going to post an entire Draft Champions gameplay uh, like series of all the games. This one wasn't that entertaining, but this game specifically, I had a lot of fun with. I think this was the second game of three that I ended up playing in this Draft Champions. I ended up losing in the third game. Or maybe, it, I don't remember, I either lost in the third game or the fourth game. I don't know. The other games weren't that exciting, though. Like, they weren't bad, but they just weren't really YouTubeable, I guess. So I'm not going to upload those. But I want to upload this one. As you can see, my opponent, pretty good on offense here. He's kind of crushing me with the passing game here. And there it is again, another deep one there. Kind of beating the linebacker there in zone coverage. Hits up his tight end. And then he's going to toss it over here. Terrell Davis easily going to step into the end zone. Now, I was quite worried right off the bat. I'm going to be honest with you. But take a look at this. Ensuing kickoff, we've got Patrick Peterson back here. And Patrick Peterson is an absolute freaking Look at him go, ladies and gentlemen, off the edge, and he is going to make the play. Yes, the block, and he is off to the races, gone for a touchdown. Patrick Peterson, first play that we touch the ball, we get a return touchdown. Absolutely love it. Now, we got to step up on defense just a little bit here, guys. We have to. We make a play there. Pass rush gets to him, so he's not able to get a good pass off there. And then Terrell Davis going to get taken down here. Should have been in the backfield, but he only gained like a yard or two on that one. Sets up now a third and seven, and he's going to try and go deep here over the middle. And we see it coming, defend it perfectly, and we get the sack. Now, again, we don't really show punch that often, but take a look at Patrick Peterson, our return man. Going to make another big play here. Gets off the edge, makes a guy miss, and he nearly takes another one back. Get it all the way to the 43-yard line here. And now we're on offense. Going to try and move the ball here. This is actually the first time that we had the ball really on offense at all. And we're, what, three minutes already or two minutes into the second quarter? So pretty damn interesting there in a 7-7 seven seven game. Jamal Charles there picking up a short gain. And then third down here, third and one, we hit the tight end over the middle for a first down. Ryan Tannehill making it two for two now. Now on third down, we're going to find him again. Warford over the middle. And now Tannehill is three for four. First and 10 here, ensuing play, and we've got Julian Edelman beats the coverage, and he is gonna get into the end zone. So now we take the lead, 14 to seven, feeling very, very good about that one, but my opponent's got the ball, and he's gonna find Terrell Davis out of the backfield here. I had to decide whether I wanted to try and cover the deep ball there or just allow him to throw it underneath. Didn't have great coverage there, and the pass rush didn't get there. So it's first and 10 again, and he's finding another man over the middle. Decent gains here, short pickups for my opponent. He's not really finding anybody deep until this play. He beats me deep up there. I think that was a four vert streak pretty much and we just couldn't stop it. He's gonna try and go over the middle here again for another first down. I believe that one was Mike Evans. Again, over and over and over again, he's hitting us and then he finds his tight end once again on the streak. Just cannot stop it. First and goal here, and man, he is going to easily step into the end zone again. I figured that the, the inside run typically comes at the one-yard line. It's happened twice now. Both times my opponent has taken it outside for a touchdown. But he scored, and we returned it for a touchdown, and it's about to happen again. Patrick freaking Peterson, ladies and gentlemen, another return touchdown, his second of the game. And look at that, that was right as time was expiring in the end of the first half. So, coming into the second half now, my opponent has to kick off again. You'd think after he had gotten two returned on him that he would learn. And maybe he did. He decided to kick it to the opposite side this time. But guess what? Oh, See ya, baby. baby! It's not gonna matter again! We get the juke again! And Patrick Peterson is gone! Is he gonna get there? Yes, he beats the man and he is into the end zone. A third return touchdown for Patrick Peterson in this one. Nearly had a fourth on a punt return. Patrick Peterson is the reason that we're winning this football game. And look at this interception here. I believe that was Rambo, and he gets the pick. We sent the heat on him there, and we get the interception shortly thereafter, of course. I can't really blame my opponent, man. He really hadn't done that bad in this game. He scored two touchdowns, but those kick returns are just absolutely brutal. So there you go, guys. Don't test Patrick Peterson. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.